Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for March 16th of 2024 is titled ELT and the Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, in the foreground, we see the a telescope in the process of being built, which is known as the ELT or Extremely Large Telescope. And this is being built by the European Southern Observatory down in Chile and will be the largest telescope, our largest telescope to view the sky. The mirror is planned to be 40 meters in size. And in fact, it won't just be one mirror, but multiple mirrors used together to observe the sky in far more detail and far deeper than have ever done before. So here we see the construction going on on that. And you can see the outline of the dome beginning to take shape. Now we are still several years from it being an active observatory and it is expected that probably by the end of this decade it will then be active and performing astronomical research and giving us a better understanding of the universe. And we see part of that universe out in the sky beyond the dome here, including the arc of our own Milky Way stretching from just over the dome there on the left hand side a little bit up higher and then back down toward the horizon on the right. Now the Milky Way is our own galaxy as we see it from inside. And because it is a flattened disk galaxy, we see it as this line going across the sky. And from a dark site, you are able to see this as well as kind of a milky patch going across the sky and how it got its name long, long ago. Now it's not the only galaxy in this image. We do see down below it towards the center of the image the two Magellanic clouds. Those are two small satellite galaxies of our own Milky Way. So they're not directly a part of our Milky Way, but they are related to it. So they're not in our Milky Way. They are outside of it. They are external galaxies but they orbit with our Milky Way and around our Milky Way, uh, much as planets orbit around the st sun in our solar system. So they are some of the nearest galaxies and some of those that we can study the best because we can see them in the most detail. And in fact, the large Magellanic cloud, the bigger little blob there is the location of the uh, nearest supernova seen since the advent of the telescope. And that was known as Supernova 1987A. And now that's no longer visible here, but at one point could have been visible in the sky as well looking out in this direction. So here we see, of course, parts of the Milky Way and other galaxies in the sky, as well as the ongoing construction of the extremely large telescope, which will end up being a 40 meter telescope, much larger than any of the other telescopes currently active today. So that was our picture of the day for March 16th of 2024. It was titled ELT and the Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be when galaxies collide. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.